In a closely held corporation, a disagreement among owners can turn into a full-fledged deadlock. In one common deadlock scenario, shareholders, each holding 50% of the stock, can't agree on a key decision and leave the company paralyzed. What's a court to do about deadlock? In Shaw v. Elting, the radical answer is to sell the company. In 1992, Philip Shaw and Elizabeth Elting started TransPerfect Global, a translation company in their dorm room while attending business school. They also were involved in a romantic relationship, which Elting called off in 1997. The romance was over, but Shaw and Elting remained at the helm of TransPerfect. They were the corporation's only directors, and they each controlled half of the corporation's common stock. TransPerfect grew into a multinational operation with 3,500 employees. Shaw went to great lengths to harass Elting. He monitored Elting's phone calls and emails, entered her locked office, filed a police report citing her for domestic violence after a minor altercation, disparaged her in front of employees, and followed her onto a flight to Paris. The company was profitable, but Shaw and Elting's dysfunctional relationship affected client satisfaction and employee morale, leading key employees to depart. Their hostility also affected the company's direction. They couldn't elect successor directors or agree on new business acquisitions, which had been a source of profits. Elting petitioned the Court of Chancery to appoint a custodian to sell the company. The co-founders conceded they were deadlocked in their roles as stockholders. Because ordering the sale of a profitable company was an unusual step, the court considered other remedies. The court tried mediation, which failed. The court also considered appointing a custodian to serve as a tie-breaking third director, but that remedy would have meant prolonged judicial intrusion in the corporation's internal affairs. Ultimately, the court appointed a custodian to sell the company. Shaw appealed to the Delaware Supreme Court, arguing that appointing a custodian to sell a profitable company exceeded statutory authority.